The first question is, if you could travel to the future and you ran into future Taylor, what would she be doing? <laughs> There's multiple answers to that question. So Give them all. Okay. <laughs> Maybe in five years in the future, Taylor will be exhibiting worldwide, hopefully. Definitely nice. into film, doing something behind the scenes because I hate being on camera like I am now. <laughs> um, winning some awards. Then 10 years in the future, hopefully Taylor will be somewhat starting a family <laughs> and still doing art. <laughs> and then 20 years in the future, I just want to be on the beach. Like I just want to move to Greece and live on a farm and not be bothered with people. <laughs> move to Greece and live yeah. on a farm. Yeah, and just exhibit anonymously. I think that that's something that's going to come up in the future. I think I'm just going to go anonymous. <laughs> Because I just really don't, I don't know, I'm not into people, I'm not into like, like I said earlier, I think art should be for art's sake, and I think the artist should be completely removed. I like to create women, I like to create bodies, because I like, I don't know, I like to look at them, and that comes from like, when I was, it was kind of like, you want what you don't have or can't have, so... I developed, and I won't call it an obsession, but a real affinity for like female anatomy okay. and just the idea of perfecting it. And so that's what I create, perfect bodies or ideas of perfect bodies. I think a genius is a troubled, generally a troubled person who has ideas that they just kind of can't express. And so when people always say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, it's because you're kind of going crazy as a genius trying to get these ideas out. So I think that a genius is like a borderline insane person with ideas that are gonna change the world.